I'm not going to be doing changes because we are going to be destroying, I mean, <gasps> durability testing this thing. Let's get right into it. So as you can see, last time we did this, and as you can see, it is plastic. <coughs> Coming around to the front, you can see that it is, to my knowledge, glass. It's safe to say, do not try this at home. I've got the TV set up right there. I've got a slow motion thing there. And I think now all we have to do is just chuck it in there. Okay, I'm really scared about this, so. I missed. Did you get some nice damage though? Yeah. I hope the slow-mo camera got that. So Apple was in the news a couple months ago because, well not a couple months ago, pretty recently. And that was for one main reason. And that was because they didn't have a removable cable on their new monitor. So I thought this is close enough to a monitor. Let's see if this thing has a removable cable. Damn it, well, I can fix that. Local Redneck here with another tip on how to save money. So this is my TV that I've been stealing my neighbor's cable for for years now. Now this is my house, yes. Now, either way, I've been stealing my neighbor's cable for years and he's never figured it out. That's a great way to save money. The other thing is to find your TVs at a junkyard. I found this at a junkyard and it works great. The sound quality has never been better. Oh shit. That didn't last very long. I didn't even get to drag it around sadistically. I got to do a little corner. And it died on it. It's still leaking gas. Whatever that is. Ugh. That this thing did not survive the durability test. So I give it, give it a negative one out of two. So it did not pass. So uh, I think you know what that means, TV. I don't really give two shits anyway. Come like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. I've got a big mess to clean up.